playing it slow, grabbing the orbs, and building up that running back. Nice kill by Logan, too. Yeah, he's someone I'm very excited to see on this map because his lurks are somewhat legendary. If, if you watched Valorant over the last few years, he has been around for quite a while. Sender already going to have to deal with some of the utility of that Yoro. And that's also something that has to be thought about by the side of Vitality throughout this map. They do not have a Yoro of their own. They can't cause the same sort of havoc that Takas is going to be able to work on already. Pressure on Tedestrian. Pot Flash actually denied by the screen. But they know exactly where this player is, and Takas will find that opener. Yeah, quickly able to deal with him. Now, at this stage, for the way back in, it's going to be tough. Vitality don't have a lot of utility that they're facing off against, but I haven't got a lot to work with either. That Viper Wall will be brought back up to 100 Toxins, and they'll see if they can manage to sneak left. their way back in. Still, though, there's no need to think about a retake until the spike is planted. It takes a while. Gentlemates being planted. very, very cautious, knowing there's a good chance they got to fight pretty soon and can close this round out on the back of it reason that Vitality been waiting is that fine. We saw up. Kicks make it up behind. He's caught Whalers. No Viper Wall. That was on A, so it's not that big of a deal. Some utility yeah. perhaps lost, but Sander, oh, he might be about to be lost on the way through. Good peak, 26 HP. Over the wall, he'll go, but his teammates a little further away, split up and separated by Gentlemates, who take kills one at a time and seem to have tied a nice bow on this round. They had all the time orb, but also having those traps to play with. That was used very early. Takas wants to take the space. He spotted one. He's looking for more. The decoy. It's been used many times before the player comes out of the ult. Oh, it's not this time. Sanders done well, but the blitz from both sides is That's too much. so sick. They flash one side and then the tank runs around the other and flashes the other Fight side. Planted. No matter where Sender looks, he is 100% blind. A really cool start to what is this combination of having two duelists that can flash. Now we look at Vitality and say, okay, you're a man down. How do you get back into this? And again, Run It Back is now online. I think he's waiting for the retake to really start so we can go for a TP into their spawn. Sh surely not. I mean, that would be a ludicrous play, but it, it, it is. It's exactly what he's done. Takas is crazy. Right behind them. They slip the gate, crash through their feet. And blindsiding Vitality completely. Nobody can hear him. That gate crash was way too far away, deep in towards the defender's spawn. Right back in, and a, it's not about 3-0 on the board. Plenty of things to come back from that. It's how dominant that opening was. And how much more do you think Gentlemates have in the tank? That was round three. And already showing ults online, showing ideas with them, putting the pressure on Vitality. Now these pistols, maybe an advantage for Destrian, but it wasn't uh, wasn't to be. He was quickly caught off. The tank is aware of every uh -oh. angle, except the one up top. Sander picks up one. Man advantage now to Vitality. And this was a round where I really was not expecting to have too much to say about that defensive side. But Gentlemates have been isolated, been picked off. Logan's only 63 HP. Now he's trapped. The door's closed behind him. And that might not have worked out the way he wanted. Bay has left to do it all. No utility and a rifle to work with. Has at least got the spike. But those other players are grouping up. Sender and Kicks want to take this duel together. With 30 seconds on the clock, Bayaz can't really go anywhere else. He left. has to force the fight, but two players win. And hopefully, Runner would be deterred from going out into this hang. Towards that B site. This is more of a bait. Takas with that ability to rotate back ah. in. Don't even need to. Just takes two fights individually and wins both of them. As said, though, the spike's still somewhat heading in the other direction, but they can wrap back if they need to. 30 seconds left. Runner still the one in a decent place, left. and I feel like the reliance here is going to be on Sender. Now with Runner picking up one, it lightens the load. But yeah, Sander still has a couple of big players walking his way. Logan can be dangerous, but a Phoenix still flash in hand for Natank and a lurk out for Whalers. If Sander falls, it's so this late could go, go through it. so many problems. Straight through he goes. Flash already. Sander's chance Ten now to stop it, left. to completely win the round. Eight seconds. He just needs to drop that spike. In comes the updraft. In comes the spray. And they've saved. The safe started to move, but now they're going to go straight in towards. They've removed oh, at least one of the players and, exactly of course, his utility. Safe's desperately low. This wall is not particularly going to keep him safe. Ten just trying to hide back in a spot where he isn't going to go down and they're waiting for the pings. It's an afterplant scenario. Weaponry definitely not the best, but gentlemates have a chance. Joke's over. They do, and they're aware of the flank as well. Watching for Destrian coming behind. This 17 HP won't find the advantage of a gun that's unaware while the tank is ulting forward just to hold that extra control and find the info. He's even spotted the player with the operator in hand. Knows exactly where Runner is. There's still time. They could play this. It's Destrian behind, I'm worried about. And he's actually caught Whalers. Cosmic Divide's isolating some of these players, but Natan just isn't giving up. He finds kill after kill, and it's enough to send Vitality running. Destrian didn't have anywhere to go. Nor does Runner. He's sticking around. He's looking for damage. And he'll make it out with some. 
Not bad. I don't think they're going to be Just be the one, but he's certainly done just as well on kills as he did last time he played Phoenix. So it's only up from here. And frankly, it, it's a pretty steep climb. And they're making it look oh. easy. The tank, though, there's an you opening death. I may just have jinxed him. I, I'm so sorry, my uh -oh. friend. Uh-oh. All right, Vitality of a chance, and the information is there now. Yeah, Plant will be coming in. Welcome to my world. Like this pit used as well for the back of the site. They're patiently waiting. Runner has the chance to potentially remove Logan from action. Logan wary that there could be players coming in from behind. It's all going to come down to this fight in middle, and the shot not quite connected. This flank coming in as well is something that isn't really being watched for. Logan oh, has been tender. bypassed. Bay has managed to find one, but this wraparound could be everything. It may not matter, though. They're picking them apart, and, but it's almost too little too late. Say, finally, make shot darts through already. That's an attempt to break the close traps, but Vitality are a step ahead. They've put them further back, but look at this. Natan so wrapping forward. around the right side. There's no trap to cover it. It's wide open for him, and he seizes that space. Safe now trapped inside a cage. They know it. They've seen him in the corner. Even worse, as the wall bangs come through to finish him off. Sure, they blindsided Logan in the chaos, but even that wall of fire is keeping them out at two versus three, an overpeak needed. For the side of Vitality, they want to see Gentlemate step into that crosshair of Runner, and then the wall goes up. And so there's just no way to find a free kill, although the toxins must have been low. And the shoulder peaking hell. There Second is, earlier, could have worked. still a Hunter's Fury, but I don't even know if Gentlemates want to use it at this stage. There. Just happy to sit back and just be irritating, throwing out pieces of utility that will reveal their opponents. Nice shot from Runner, though. Rifle found. Destry needs to get something, and he will. And it should be traded out, but not quite quick enough. Runner needs this kill. Dimensional Drift to lead the charge. The tanks. Oh, is online, but he's also dead, so that's not going to cause them a problem. And they're going to use the Hunter's Fury just pinging in onto where the... Oh, actually, Sender dodges it. I thought he would be screwed. Safe wrapping back around. I don't know if the expectation will be there, but... His sixth sense maybe helps him to back away from this angle. Now with Seekers online, they could get that information. Cosmic Divide utilizes such a ratty little angle from Whalers, though. Needs to get more than one, and he does. A couple combined with the kill coming out of Logan. They've taken the advantage back. They most certainly have, despite the info swinging his way. Kick still has so much to do. Flash pop, swing, good. <laughs> exactly as I expected. Well... But with Natank still having his ult and a Viper's Pit to secure a site, this could get very scary Fire very man. quickly. Oh, the Bladestorm hasn't quite worked out, and the secondary weapon no isn't the best. He's sticking around. <laughs> Not for long. I love the, I love the gold to just flash straight back up there. Now we're going to see the run it back. Interesting position. He's got to wait for the door to open to actually get through and try and find anything. For now, though, Logan has been able to find Sender. He went alone with the spike onto B. Just leave that for a second. Yep. Just. And now, he might be alone for a second longer. It's going to be Whalers on that wraparound. Does have a snake bite available. Also have a Viper's Pit if he can get to the spike, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Logan already being cheeky. And the problem is now, they'll very quickly know where he is. He's going to try and get aggressive. Try and fight forward. He's going to get picked up. Destrian knows, but he still wins the fight. There's a trap in the pit. He can step into that. I think he's heard it at this point. Whalers must know. No. Great secure by Logan with another. And although he'll fall now, the fight through the pit is the real difficulty. And it ain't gonna... Safe's not gonna peek that, is he? No, he's not gonna, he's not gonna peek that. Oh, he is. Almost gets the kill. I, I feel like that was a, a, a little bit of fear striking. I don't know. I, I think normally he gets that one. Destrian, timing is sublime. It's almost perfect. He has to try and work out which one is the decoy. He's so quick. He gets the kill of the Whalers attackers, as you said. Too quick on the reaction. They know left. there's a man within this. Senders on the other side. This is a very risky peek from the tank. Unable to clear him out. Has found the information. There should be a trade, and Bears is there to find it. Now the afterplant is secure. Look at where Takas is. And the distraction's going to be there with Logan popping the hat, making the noise. You know there's a player on site. Now you know there's one in the spawn, too, but. Well, it doesn't get any easier to deal with. Guess who's behind you, by the way? Because once again, <laughs> working... And that has been enough to win them rounds. Vitality seems okay. flustered. Spike down A. And Takas, well, he is getting ready to potentially fight versus the entire squad. Look, he's going back for another peek. He has a game they, they have been pinged. He knows they are there. But that is how confident this man is right now.
He could have TP'd to B, reset, you know, taking a breath, but no. He That's wants to stay layout. aggressive. <laughs> I got one opening kill. Give me a second one. But for gentlemates, they're happy now. Five versus four, bunkered down on this A site, and there are two on site, one towards the doors and one even in the spawn. I mean, such a heavy stack from this side, even as we see Bayaz slowly rotate away to cover that two. Vitality of so many players to deal with on the way through. The time oh, already shredding them. Insult to injury. Nice. Around that time, where was the tank playing? He's on the other team. He's learned. <laughs> He's learned, isn't he? Been back for a little bit of revenge. Nice shot from Runner, though. An awakening of sorts. He could potentially do a little bit of damage here. The outlaw strikes back, though, with Sender falling. Still making this one very costly. A competitive round, which I'll be honest, it's not something I've said much throughout this map thus far. And after plant position, and Vitality have a chance. They found rifles as well, Mitch. They have a chance, but Takas also has an outlaw. And I am actually very afraid of this man with that weapon, not just because it's strong, but because of what he's up against. All those players are one hit to it. It's an off, essentially. He's running around with a ghost in hand. Not currently finding anyone or any opportunities. Whalers, though, does pick up Runner. Here we go. Attempt to flash up close. He's swinging on it, but it was a little late. I would be a little bit okay. fearful if I was on the other side and heard that ult. Come on, let's go. He's on his way, and he knows that Safe's trying to avoid him. There's no escape from the Tonk today. Blocking vision, recovering it. Yeah, that's not the player you want going down as well. You almost have to pick up the pace if you're on the Vitality side because your flank watch is down, but they're running into Cypher Utility on the other side of things. Logan well positioned. They haven't really been able to bypass it. It's perfectly placed, and it is revealing the player on site. Here. He knows exactly where he is and will deny the plant. Nobody has checked that back corner. Taka is still just causing issues. The flash is perfect as well. Styling on them. Kicks still trying his best to hold strong. Doesn't really have any support. Vestrians outside the site and will land the... I'll be honest, this is not the way I expected this to go. Expectations on them have been high and maybe a crunch time for some pressure is like a drug for others. It hinders, and right now it's looking like a hindrance for Vitality. Whaler's still on the site, but he's about to be revealed. The flash again is so damn good! They just can't stop Takas! And they know exactly where Whaler's is. Finally, he's been dealt with. He's left all onto the tank. Behind me. He seems to be worried about. Oh, that flash is giving it away. Actually, the element of surprise completely gone. Sender knows, but does he think it's a fake? No, he's, he's wrapping around. It's half touched already. Natanka round, and he's got it. There is no foot they can. <laughs> it's a cool classic. Oh, 30 seconds. Got my left. liquid one on at home. Well, a quick play by Natank, and no surprise to anybody, that's an opening duel for Natank. He's, he's really not happy about his last performance on Phoenix, and he's already off to a flying start. But, unsurprisingly, despite a lot of presence on C, kills being found there, there was an immediate refrag on A, and a push through to plant. Gentlemen, five versus three, miles ahead, time on their side, utility to work with, still a nade on Takas, but he's doing it with his pistol. And they came close to another Andalusia flawless. Instead, Dang. it's gonna be, oh fair, oh Sander, talking to the shorty, he's up close and he's got a double, one with each barrel, that's good damage. And again, the, you fall back to Vitaly not having a lot to work with, but maybe if they group up, they can chip away at these weapons and make it a manageable scenario. That's the thing, it's one kill. And you have to bear in mind, they actually invested into the rifles on every single player. There is really? nobody that has spare cash. Aggressive positioning might not be expected. Players good flash dead. to the back, runner's got both. That's a huge couple of kills. Now it's left all onto Logan. I don't even know how he goes about winning this. I think it just ends the board, and that might just be the confidence. Send gentlemates to an eco. There is still money there, and they're putting it all on the line. Oh. Already blast back in a round. This is a quick move towards the door. I don't know if this will be expected, especially with the Molotov now. They should have a decent idea. Spike yet to be planted. It's actually because of where the defenders have managed to get to. They are sat in a flank spot behind. Yeah where you'd ideally like to plan. So I wonder if this is going to be a moment where gentlemates either sit tight, hope that somebody makes a mistake, they're not low on time, or if potentially they're going to try and re-aggress somewhere else. 
I think they've seen that something was oh. off. And now they know it is runner and safe. Quick on the kills. That judge of Whalers has been spotted shoulder peeking. They know he's there. They shouldn't be running into him. Well, that said, he's running uh -oh. to them. The reload's on. Maybe. and that... They're going to try and fight this one together. He's just going to over here on that A side. So many for Vitality. So many targets, though. That's what Takas thinks. Straight on the kicks. The first is found. Tree is theirs. And the others are on the back of sight. Uh -oh. Sender, in fact, is trapped. He's going to have to try to time his jump, but he doesn't get it right. Bayaz and Takas both finding one. And that leaves Destrian with a few tags as well. He's down to 19 HP and not feeling his chances of stopping this flawless round from Gentlemates. Instead, he's going to be hiding away to save the rifle. And with so much time, even if he runs to C, they could definitely go and catch him. Instead, it's the hole. I think Logan just saw the op was still on the floor and then crossed the angle. So actually very decent timing for Destrian. Oh, it's still online. So him wrapping round behind him is unlikely. Is there a flat? There isn't a flash on the tank. So if he was going to actually fight for this, it would just be a dry peak. Destrian now trying to take a little bit of space. Timing Whoa. doesn't look great. Oh, this is pacey. There is pressure there. Already, Paranoia going through. That's going to leave the rotation not really available to help out. And because of that, they've had to back off. Bear in mind, Showstopper available for the retake. So that's why we're watching the Vitality side group up. They're going aggressive. Cinder completely unaware that they might push this. An easy kill on a man not paying attention. The Boombot's blind, but nobody else. And now that Showstopper through actually catches Bayers on the back lines. Gives the advantage back over to Vitality. Paranoia leaving a player on the other side blind, but only for a second. Taka still here, and a quick One shot in remains. combination with Wayne. That's the thing, there was an opening, but he's genuinely got in the back of their heads. What's the rise? You're not going to make the same mistake twice, are you? I like the deep nade here that's going to give them control to pop the plant, but the spike is a little far behind. Oh, they has 12 HP. Him. Don't want to get spammed on the way through, so the tank's taking the fight, but back they go. Back through the door, a flash used to cover their back as the A site will be seized. Destrian's close by, but not close enough. He can slow them down a second, reposition up top, but a battle will be on his hands, and he doesn't want to give that advantage away. Instead, waiting for kicks, waiting for safe. And just a little further behind, runner covering their back. This will be a three-man, oh no, a four-man play through heaven. Everybody challenging Whalers, he lost it before. This was a tough angle against the pistols. And again, runner will open the space, blast packing through while Destrian That's trades. Bay has to be rooted out, and with low HP, he didn't stand a chance. Takas though, 72, but he only needs one bullet to the head to take them down. And the first is found successfully. The second rain through these walls, trying to take down Natank, for example, where he is right now. But he's already a little closer than they expect. The paranoia goes in, but the tank's able to fight close. The sprays are a little shallow because that player had already pushed up. He's too quick in taking the space, too disrespectful for this yeah. strategy to work without more information. And I don't know how much more they could possibly want. But the pace of Gentlemates causing them issues once again. That's safe, gone. And look at the rotation. Four players are now on that right side of the map. Like you could literally almost split it directly down the middle, and they are all over on that other side. Like it just leaves the seaside completely clear if they were to go in that direction. Now, they did have the little bit of early information from the turret, but that's already been destroyed. Now we see the full sprint back. In the meantime, though, that Rolling Thunder is available. Lockdown being placed. Are they going to push this? I, I wonder if they're going to try and attempt to. They can plant at the back lines, line. which is what they're going to do. The nade Five over the planted. top might... No, actually, I think that bounced back. Oh. It didn't even reach. In a rolling thunder backup as well, as we've just seen primed and ready from Bayaz is massive. Playing into this side is going to be tough. I think that... He might get all of them. He's going to right now if he clicks it, and he has one, two, three, four. They're all hit by it. They're all stunned. And two are gunned. That seems to be Gentlemates with the round in the bag. Five versus two. New existence as well. I think we're seeing that experience from such a long... To what Gentlemates are cooking up. Joke's over! You're dead! Got a good read here again, Mitch. Three players within this A site. And even going to use a Viper Spit oh. very early on. Dangerous when you've still got that Phoenix running around. I mean, he, he will straight up run and gun to try and take you down, but he's moving towards the spawn instead, so the pit will be safe. The problem is the pit does not deny the plant. It doesn't let you get back up close. All it does is stop their aggression and give you control that you often have. Oh, no. Anyway, what? Two through the pit. One was sender. That damage is massive because now that control is gone. The tank, he used his ultimate. He's almost got it back halfway there.
and Vitality's hopes seem to be living on a prayer. It's not answered. They're left alone in this two versus five. Not a kill to their name. And it might just be, no, it's not flawless. It comes so close. Five HP, all that Kick survives by. I'm not sure he's going to survive. <laughs> Running for his life. No one's challenging. Lockdown. There's not really good ground that he can hold on to with that all in play. And he's just going to try and do damage as they enter into the site. You should run. It's a good idea. You saw the utility gentle mates put in towards tree, so he would have been in a, a lot of hot water if they had committed that. Attacker locked down in play, pushed through, attempted oh damage done, but not followed through on. Logan goes uh -oh. down. And yeah, okay, runner's going to get detained. It's fine. Buys them a couple of seconds. That's exactly it. A couple of seconds bought that ultimately just resets you to getting that spike plant. Cass has his showstopper though. Seekers might give them away, but there's also Sander, yeah. nice. the ult coming out from the tank as well. And they have so much available to them. Straight away, there's the first. They're holding on to what they've got from Takas. He's just spamming away, but can fall back into his position once again. Takas looking to potentially cause havoc here within that smoke. And now somebody is on it, but then the tank again goes through. Still, the trades from Vitality are good, but they are denying them from getting onto this spike. Still struggling. Now, Whalers will go across as a distraction. The showstopper is just used to buy time. He's just going to shoot it at the very last second. If anybody even tries to get onto that spike, it's just not possible. The time is gone. Go now all they have to try and run back towards the B site. That's exactly where Runner is with the showstopper. He's going to get himself one, but the trade is there. I think they actually still have time to get this, but it might be Timmy the time. Timmy stopped the round. I've never seen anything like it before. A double kill from the turret to close out a fifth round for Vitality. Timmy the shadows having high impact, and this is what we expect to see. Look at the aggression from Gentlemates. This is a five-man push. Three all the way going up, the others pincering him from behind. This is just Phil! They have so many ideas, kicks. He's clinging on, though. He's done fantastically well in Sender. Do they expect him to be on this side? It seems like they have the right idea. Already spotting him out. Logan's gonna take the fight, and kicks is still just clinging to life. 22 HP, frenzy in hand, also the spike. And it's him versus Logan. Well, Logan must think he's gone. That's what's in Kick's mind, at least. He's gone to plant that spike. Kick's could catch him off guard. But Logan's too patient. Why hasn't he planted yet? Well, soon, that question will be answered. For now, they're both cautious of the other side. Once that plant comes in, though, Kicks has the Trailblazer to work with. A good bit of information can at least be garnered. Logan might pull back that turret. I don't know if he'll leave the bottom. Is the Tiger going to see him? That's the real question. It spotted him. Could be the information to work with now. The Nano has to be dodged. Kicks is extremely low. Logan can take him down with just the one. That right click now looking incredibly deadly. But he has to find him first. Kicks could have gone absolutely anywhere. The first clue is the plant spot. It's down below, so he thinks maybe that other player is too. Trying desperately to find him. The clock running out. The swing oh, and a close fight. Seekers already popped kicks though. Able to swing, using them as extra armor and taking down Logan and Whalers. Used Runner as a human meat shield too. They've spotted players up close. Flash used, but here's the counter flash. The Tonk's being good for them, but he's out now. No more to work with. Where's the back? They turned their back on him. They knew he was the hit Tom. I, I guess they time. thought he ran away. They couldn't have been more mistaken. In fact, they're no. fighting for spawn and the tank is How? back at it again. Three kills, the spike secured, and the round perhaps on the back of it. They even know where Sender is. He hit a nut shot in the previous round. Careful Time to enough. do it again. Oh, run it back used. Maybe just to get some health back more than anything, but it also clears out some positioning. Sender was excellent in the last round. Has a rifle to play with, upgrading away from the Guardian. He's gonna get that Jewel versus Natank. It is a one versus On the Seaside, they are playing a full retake setup right now. In fact, they haven't budged. Here. Maybe having some sort of read that they're expecting their opponents to go back in the other direction, but no, it is just going to be a full 5v5, make that four retake. Logan just died to a lurk? Well, that's karma right there. <laughs> Vitality, five versus four. Hit. Nade in play Watch for out. Runner. Two snake bites for Sender. 
even a Nano on Destrian. They've got a lot to work with. Here's what I'm trying to say. Takasto has gone up and over. He's diving through, oh, and they have no idea! A massive play from Takas, and he's not done yet! Three kills, and Nade is bounced back in a sender, kicked it back, and now they're trying to defuse while Destrian runs in. It's half! The time is no, so close! No! Cover while well, they try to challenge. That challenge will be on to Bayaz. He has to be very careful not to go down here. That utility is too valuable, especially when he's taking a fight with a Spectre. Left. And you got teammates like Logan to take that duel instead. Good damage done. Safe down to 11. And Vitality might be second guessing whether they want to blitz Watch into out. this right now. The heal will go up first. 20 seconds to decide. A site might seem nice, but B is where it's going for. And there's so much utility here. Takas on his way. He's a little late. Oh. The rocket fires off, but the player's already dead. The flash good, safe. 10 HP, he's dead, One but there's some support. Remaining. A firing squad there, and somehow safe gets out of it with a third kill. Still firing away. Of course, he had the heal earlier, right? So he's back up to 100. Back up to fighting health. Oh, Whalers desperately tries to defuse it. A wild spam through will light him up and take him up. He could be sticking that top. Realistically, he could be. Very brave from Vitality to let him away with it tied up. Sunset, the next map. A big fight to get there, especially with the tank firing up like that. So, the tank's ult has been deleted. He's now kind of caught in the corner. He's worried. He's paranoid. He's got a trailblazer coming his way. He's flashed. He's flashed himself. There's not a lot going for him, is what I'm trying to say. While well, Gentlemates lose, Natank, they've at least done a lot of damage. Kicks can heal most of it up, except the 90 that he's lost, the shields that he no longer has. He's definitely going to be vulnerable in any sort of duel. But the good thing, he still has both flashes. So he doesn't need to be involved yeah. in the initial fight. Instead, he'll be letting his teammates do the running in. Yeah, good reaction as well. That was an explosive start to the round. But again, Vitality have managed to weather the storm. They are building back into Wallop. this one. Oh, Wallop, please. the Odin, a little bit too long. That's going to be I'm spotted out. Gives the kill straight then. over. Runner falling. Maybe wanting to try and be a little bit sneaky with their way through instead. It's a little bit more awkward. Takat, he's still fighting. He's going tooth and nail with his opponent. A little bit wary of where the Omen had TP'd to, but they haven't managed to deal with him. Hunting him down at this point. Kicks is low and almost manages a kill, but now it's left all onto safe. He's got rid of Takas, but there's that rolling thunder. He's going to be able to dodge it. it. That might be a nasty surprise. Logan is going to spot him before anything gets too dangerous. Oh, they know where he is. The tank a little bit lucky to get away with that. Oh, what dead. are you doing, Whalers? What? It's just TP's up. Oh, no, he's been getting lots of frames. What the fuck? What is happening? He's still here. He's still here. The flash is going through. I can't believe what I'm watching. Vitality have just fallen apart. And Whalers has made one of the riskiest plays of all time. Riskiest is a choice word, Tom. That was a silly play that somehow they just they couldn't anticipate. They couldn't react to. There was a flash in play. Sure. Uh, but the fact that he gets three, the fact that safe is going shrouded, stepping across, and lunacy. But that's how quick these rounds can fall out of your hands. <laughs> I'm not even going to go near that one. That's... Uh, he's just out. He's out of the round. 2v3. Can we just erase this round from the map? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see this ever again. Oh, that was unfortunate. Hell lie. Lothar, break this one down. <laughs> yeah. Lothar, get on the telestrator for that one. I think there I is want the whole round. some interesting util to start the round, certainly, but uh, it quickly spiraled Go into chaos. Intense. I like the spot from Bayaz. If they cross, though, there is a turret watching. So for Gentlemates, they've got these players boxed in. I'm the back isn't watched, but with 15 seconds left, it's a gamble that they'll still come A, and they've made the right gamble indeed. Bayaz already bought time, already ran that left. clock down, but the plant will come all the way through. The reposition oh, afterwards. Thank God they didn't change things. I think that would have been the worst thing for this squad, and looking at what they're able to do on the server, I really thought he was going down to the classic there. Luckily, safe pop the reload. Uh, uh, it, it really is just so impressive that they're able to deliver this at tier two, move up to tier one, but that's it. You, you stay together, you learn together, you win okay. together. Well, Takas, he's gone down alone. And so is Destrian, caught off in the back. There's gonna be a flash around that door and a big battle in the tank, looking to do the damage, fire down. It's certainly chipping away at the health, leaving Sander on 50. And that Viper's Pit now, not as scary as it was a couple Shadow's seconds ago when he was full health. They might be able to root him out of there, not just with a spray, but even with Logan. And I think that's what Vitality are waiting for, knowing there's a lockdown in play. If they plant, they could be in a lot of hot water. And actually, the Viper's Pit will be used. Now, I think Logan's already starting to think, well, my X keys look pretty good. Lockdown utilized. Bayaz is actually just trying to catch them as they exit. 
locking them into position. They're actually going to re-aggress instead, but they're going to have to try and move into this corner. It should be expected. Paranoia Stunt. already Last sent in. Play. They're stuck in a corner. They might just be earning it oh, a little bit further onto the play. God. It's great flash, no punish. Runner's the one to find the kill instead. Natank shut down. They're going a little bit above and beyond no! because Hogan and Whaler. Is he actually going to stick that? He is. So it, the sound of the door not going to be there, but instead it's the showstopper that might just give a nasty surprise. He knows where safe is and takes him out. Runner has found one in the meantime, though, keeping this one close. Getting past Takas is the real problem. Oh, and they both got hit by that paranoia. The nade that clears the angle instead, not going to be useful. Blast back through. It's okay. They know Takas is there. They've spotted him. And even trying to push him out of position, but if they swing the other side, okay. Together oh. they'll go in, and together they might win. Already kicks with two, but Bea is sneaking around. He spotted, he's seen. Showstoppers online and ready. Lockdown is in play and pushing them back. Gentlemates, don't want to stick around, but Whalers has got ult. Okay, for a second I thought he was going to try to cancel it and, and still take that fight, but 30 seconds left. that's not the play. And it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, I think with the run it back available, they have a free opportunity to go in. The information is gone. A distraction for Natan because they go running through, but he's not going to win the fight. Runner has caught another one. The advantage firmly sits with Vitality. Someone needs to step up. Logan's caught one. The shot's not connecting either for Runner. That's a second dropped. This is starting to fall apart a little bit now for Vitality. Kicks someone isolated, but his teammates will run through. The cavalry arrives to give them a little bit more of a chance, but it is falling apart. Takas has just died no. to the tanks. Not again. Utility, and that attack just sits on the defusal. Vitality are super patient. The tank's got a shot off too, and he's still sticking around. I don't even know that he has a way out of here till that smoke pops. And he's just about to... Oh, never mind. Not avoided them. He is very much caught in the open. A queen... A queen... Refrag from Kicks. He's going. He's going for it. No, surely not. There's two players still on B. The door must be open. They'll, they'll switch back, change directions, and fight off towards Logan. And that man nice. is taken down easily this time. Finally, the signs of life. All of them are online for Vitality. Safe went down, so no smokes. But they are just dueling on every single angle. And overtime seems... Impossible to avoid. Takas does well to find the first, but three more. This isn't DRX, he's oh, against. Starts to come through. Sender is safe behind the tree now. Unspammable, untouchable. But now he can turn his back and start to spray through that wall, through that door, once Whalers falls. The problem is now he's got no teammate to cover his back. He's isolated, and he could be pushed at any moment. Not a fight that many people will want to take. And with Logan somehow behind them, this is now very winnable. He's dodging bullets like it's the Matrix. Sender? He's around. Well. He swapped weapon. He's, he's dropped the Odin. Why has he done that? He's managed to back out of there. That's the main thing. They're going looking for him. Wary. But only his Odin remains. They're set up like a firing squad. Or any utility. They don't actually have smokes to clear this cross. So if they hold on to this, it could be huge and wonderful stuff for Vitality. Of gentlemates, one that Vitality are not prepared for. There it is, but Runner was ahead of it. Whalers caught by the paranoia too. He can't quite make it out. He's stuck in the corner. Luckily, Shrouded Step will get him to safety. Yeah. Thought a bullet was going to follow, but we'll reset to a 4v4. Yeah, trade of the duelists. The tank and Runner fall. 45 seconds left. It's going to make this entry into the site a little bit more difficult. And two players sat waiting. Maybe even an aftershock to hold them back a little bit more. The utility being expended. Bayaz waiting the cross is hell and the spray down is magnificent. It leaves safe. 25 seconds. He's serious pressure. He's being pushed from B as well, but it does leave an opening on the other side of the map. That's a good start. Getting rid of this man has been the bane of Gentleman's life on this attack side. He's normally such a reliance in post plants and uh, holding those rotations. Now as well for Vitality, they realize, okay, we've isolated this man. We've taken him down. The rest of them are being funneled in towards this A site. Vitality, if anything, have them right where they want them. It certainly seems that way for Gentleman. They might have some aggressive utility to fight back through, but the Tiger spotted Natanka up close. That's a hard smoke to flash around. Instead, he's just holding the angle for now while the rest of the squad blitzes back through. They've seen the tongue dropping down. It's not enough to see him. Dealing with him, something else. Trade from Bayaz. Numbers. 
quite even for now, but with the time running down, Vitality need to step into the angles. Held by Gentlemates, traded out along the way. Step down, drop down, herd, kicks and sender though. They combine. Operator in for Takas, and guess what? They're going aggressive once more. Destrian's the one under pressure. He has been spotted, maybe not realizing it. And this time the tank will take the opener for his squad. Another opener under his belt on Lotus. Certainly a different face from what we saw last time around. Shadows 13 coming. on the board for Gentlemates. Another OT. Spike play. That's what their vision is. And they're close to it. The Vitality won three buy rounds in a row on this attack side. A one-man disadvantage? Well, how much of a disadvantage is it? Runner still with utility. Sender double snake bites to work with. Time. Let's see if it's on their side. That flash has bought them a little bit more. Molly in play, the nade oh, now so to delay them even further. The clock just keeps on running down. The sands of time slow for nobody. As the shots land, it's gentlemates that seem to be coming out on top, but a defuse is still needed. And everyone that steps near that spike falls seconds later. Another nade online, and that sent Logan running. The time now too far gone, and it's... Four. Time to see it again. Gentlemates on the defense, but you couldn't really tell by how they're playing yeah. it. Right away, some aggression out of this squad. Full contest for B main. Full fight going down, and the stun is great. Why is the knife out? Takas still alive. Hello! No one's checking him. Somehow he gets away with it for so long. And runners left with 20 HP. Good night and sweet dream. Oh! The side of Natank and Takas. This mid push is perfect. They're waiting within it. The flash. A little bit delayed. Kix does at least manage to get a response. Nestrian under pressure here has support of that youngster once again. Kix has really been bright throughout this series. And he's landing the shots again. The trade backs immediate. The aggression. But it's Vitality. The same clear. We've seen them do this now. Uh, almost all of the rounds move through this side of the map, come around the elbow into A, and get a nice safe plant. It's virtually undeniable Spike for the planted. side of Gentlemates. And you probably want Whalers to be waiting here. Takas, not far behind. Take this fight together. It's a 2v3. There could be some 2vx angles they could isolate. As we can see, Pedestrian is alone. Double push into spawn. Okay, nice Three. shot. Now it should be done. Whalers, one hell of a clutch in front of him. He's even thinking about leaving. Bomb. But actually, Vitality aren't falling for it. They've gone running straight through. Already waiting for safe. They'll catch him off. But in the meantime, they're going to go pushing in towards this site. The cross being held, but they're not going to be able to deny that space from Vitality. Now, short of those random spams, and in fact, it ends up backfiring. Even with a silencer, it's just a predictable angle to be spraying from. And the tank is down to 49 HP. But Vitality have lost their Viper. Post plant could be huge, double snake fights. And of course, that poison orb on site make one hell of a difference. For now, they're going to have to wait back in main and hope that Sender can find value. But they have shut the door in his face quite literally. And then he's caught by a trap. So now they know exactly where he is. One man lighter means only three towards main. So they're going to go quickly to start tapping that defuse. Sender's caught one though. Now there's a problem. I don't think they fully knew where he was. It looked like he got a second. Oh, it's not even half, is it? No, fully reset. They've got to get on that spike very soon. And just running down the clock is Kicks catching another. They weren't sure if he'd still be around that angle, and he most certainly was. the optimism, but right now it's not looking great. Good stun through, but it's for nobody. Gentlemates at least have a retake setup, especially with a rolling thunder, and players late to the party on A. Same exact play from Vitality. They just, they have met zero resistance when they come this way. No challenges, so why not? Well, with Runner down, things might get oh! a little bit easier. Logan, he was seeing through the smoke by the looks of it. Paranoia, it's gone too high. He was spooked up by the Rolling Thunder. They know where Sender is. Still, he's good for one. one and damage remain. done, safe on the trade. It leaves it to Logan. He's already done so much. Some more kills through the smoke would definitely help out. And he might have an idea that Destrian's repositioning, oh, he's but he's gone he's back gone. to his teammate. He's made it out. It's hoppable in this map here. It's a good Turn. setup from Gentlemates. Instead of going aggressive, stun being held by Beaz. The second Logan gets contact, stun comes out, swing comes through. Where he's already got the kill though. He's too quick. Yeah. This time, Safe is shut down. He is punished. And Safe's been a huge player yeah. in the last couple rounds for Vitality. He's now eight and three. He was eight and two. So he's, he's been filthy. Space being taken, Kicks does well. It's a bait with the sound to give that extra kill. The trade back into a 3v3. Takas caught in no man's land. 
They are playing with their opponents, using sound cues to their advantage. Bayaz desperately looking for a way back in. Logan has found that trade. Puts them in one of the better scenarios we've seen so far. And Bayaz is going to try and force him into the open. He does, but they peek together. The teamwork and synergy from Vitality has been the better thus far. And now they sit post plant once again. Well, they judged a showstopper already. One hell of a counter, leaving Vitality 7-0 to zero in the lead, knocking on the door of an eighth round. And General Mates, they need camera something huge. They've counts. even been spotted by the camera. That player is not diffusing. They won't be dragged into an angle. That flash didn't work. Certainly not right. It's given Logan a chance! Oh, stagnant defense, but one with issues. The pace straight through from Rodder! That's again Bayas down. He's been such a critical part in a lot of their executions and the spam. Damage. Still though, the tank will even things up, but the HP definitely isn't level. Yeah, nobody to heal you up like we saw previously. Viper's pit used on mid? Safe? Are you okay? This is an insanely aggressive one. When he hasn't got past the trap, it doesn't give full control because they can still bypass this is a terrible Viper's I mean, I was delaying saying it, but I hate this. Here. Let's see if he can make it work. It's uh -huh. safe, so I, I suspect he will. Got his own safe place to play with. I'm just counting the seconds to the peak. Eventually, he goes through, doesn't see them. He's running down time. He's being a problem for this squad. Then he is going to kill us from behind. That flash stays inside of B main. That's clear there. Oh, yeah. for oh, how has he won that? Again, that mid control. I've it's been a problem trail. for the side of Gentlemates, and with safe now, very much causing issues. Oh, he's been spotted. They just saw him. The run through from center, though, not expected. A second player caught him off guard. Whalers keeps control There's for a open. few seconds before Runner Spike runs player. it down. That ass caught by a trap miles away. It. No, it, it, this is looking like one of the most anticlimactic finishes to a series ever. After what was an absolute tooth and nail battle in map number two, split seconds away from Gentlemate sending Vitality for the team that wins this matchup. A spot on a plane home is what meets the other. Finally, Bayers has had a little bit of luck, and you know what? Logan has too. The trade from Kicks, though, immediate. This is definitely one of the more aggressive rounds we've seen out of Vitality with that TP and the spawn being insane. But mainly with safe falling early, you now lose that Viper wall to there. clearly walk out onto A without worrying yeah. about these angles. And that's been a large factor of why there. Vitality have been able to take this control so consistently. And we can see there's no one holding it, right? There's nothing stopping them from going out, but they're not going to just dry peek it. Instead, they're worried. What angles do they need to clear? Flash on site, cleared that out at least, but they're still worried about the spawn, so a nade goes down. It's very Fight wise for planted. gentlemen to stay back. A good chance that Vitality got nipple. aggressive or get aggressive, and that's exactly what's happening. And with no blast pack to play with, Runner can't really close that space the way he'd like. He might get a chance. The rocket actually lands, and it's Tack has to fall. Destrian might lose his life eventually, but look at the position of kicks. Stun is fantastic, but they don't know about the foundations, at least semi late. Instead, here we go again. They're not in a good position, and they have to fight their way back no. out of a pedestrian. Keeps them well and truly where they belong for now. 11 HP. That guy uses this. the ult. Okay, good info. And he's got a fallback. But look where his gate crash is. It's, it's actually way up in the spawn. They're, he's playing this aggressive because of the rolling thunder that Bayas is able to follow up on. But, but Takas has gone down. The numbers, despite a, a very nice play and an ult dump, the numbers end up even. Yeah, they're gonna realize that safe is on the other side of the map. Like, he again was just causing havoc, trying to lurk back in behind. He's gonna be faced by both players. He isolates one. Because of that, there you go. Cinder, it's actually a perfect use of the paranoia. He's gonna get one and be able to fade away. And now calls for the rotation of his team. Yeah, the timing on that, it couldn't have been better. The placement couldn't have been better. I thought Natonk was a little too far forward. But the adjustment was made. Big brain by Sander. Damage done. Whalers on 14. They still have smokes to play with at least, but they've lost Takas. Not only a great individual for this squad, 26 kills on both of the previous maps, one of which was a 13-4, but also the ability to break through some of these left. choke points and create some space. They've got to do that on foot. They've got to do it themselves. It ain't easy, and it's yeah, not even possible remember. by the looks of it. Safe. Easily dealing with that market push, leaving Logan alone. One versus five. He now waits for this push to come through. Tank has taken space. Safe goes down. A couple of kills coming up for the duelists. A good start to this round and a rifle found. 
Yes, very nicely handled. I like the push in from Tack, as we said. That's what they were kind of missing in that last round. Popping the decoy right after the door, but they don't fall for it. The Tiger catching him, and Whaler's being flashed, but it doesn't matter. A huge reset on the Stinger that gets him both kills and leaves Sander with nothing. This is Gentlemates showing back up, finding a round at long last. Long path ahead of them, not just to make it to Madrid, but to make it out of this series alive. For Sander. Looks like he's going to try to do a little bit more damage. That <laughs> is. It could be useful on the attack to reposition. The gentlemates can't afford to put a step wrong. What a play! The stun, the flash, and the peek by Runner. An opening duel. Many more to come. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. That stun was literally just coming out from the other side. So it was just the flash. Force them back into it. Yeah, it was, it was just no. I mean, flash. it was just the flash because. Yeah. Obviously, the breach is on the attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, 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 was, it wasn't needed as much of a play. It was literally the stun yeah, went through, and he goes, all right, I'll react. Pop the flash. And they here. get the kill immediately, ruining what was an initial setup. Getting rid of Tack has as well. As I said, in the last round, his disruption and this angle is just filthy. Ooh. He gets a second for free. Mid. Didn't even mean to, I don't think. Two players now stand between Vitality and a spot in the play-in. The they have fought tooth and nail on the last map. Is there space over on A? Because that's the only place he can really be thinking of TPing left. to, but there's 30 seconds left. And the tank trying to make space, trying to sell a bit of a fake, but no, they're actually going to try and play this one together, but waiting at the squad of Vitality. The tank, he's not going to get that second. Is left all onto Whalers. No time, no health. He is stuck in a corner, trying to fight versus the might of Vitality. He'll at least be able to find one, but so much